Hello. This video I'm going to show you how to make particles react to music in After Effects. And it will look like this. Now, let's start doing it. Please note that I'm using Windows system while showing you this tutorial. And this it is the layout look of my After Effects working space. If your layout has different look, and you want to change the layout the same as mine for easy follow up. Hear how you can do that. From the menu bar, go to the window menu, hover to the workspace menu and select the default option, and you ready to go. First, I start a new project in After Effects and use Combined Key, Control S, or Control Shift S to save this project onto my computer as name. Particles react to music, for example. Then in the project window panel, I click on the icon, create a new composition. And from the pop-out composition settings window, I will name this composition, Particles React. However, you can name it whatever as you're liking. At the basic settings, I will choose the preset, HDTV 1080, 29.97, for the resolution 1920 by 1080. And I choose the frame rate at 30 frames per second. At duration, I set 30 seconds for the length of this composition. But you can set this to any length you want to be, that depend on your own purpose. I leave the background color as black. Then hit OK to create new composition. Now I have a new Particles React composition created in the project panel. And it's also automatically opened in the timeline panel. I'm going to create a solid layer inside this composition. By right-click within the Layer Panel area, select New, and choose Solid. From the Solid Settings pop-out window, I name it Snowfall, but you can name it anything you want. The Size setting is automatically set to match the composition screen size 1920 by 1080 so I don't need to touch this. At the Color setting, I pick Black for the background color. Then hit OK to create new solid layer. The next step, I will add the snowfall effect for this snowfall solid layer. I point to the Effects and Presets panel and type the word Snowfall into the search box to look for the CC Snowfall. Then I drag this CC Snowfall effect over the snowfall solid layer to apply the effect. From the Effect Controls Snowfall settings, I change opacity from 50 to 100% and increase the size to 15 in order to see the effect more clearer. Now, let hit spacebar key from the keyboard to run preview the effect. That's just the default effect of the CC Snowfall preset. There's still some more works to do to make it look like the samples that you saw at the beginning of this video. Okay, let's continue. In order to have the reaction effect and the background, Let's add the music file and the image file, by drag and drop them from the computer's folder, into the project panel window of After Effects. If you want to download these files to practice with, I put the links in the description section. They are free to use for YouTuber if you give proper credit to the authors. Back to the tutorial. From the project panel, I drag the image file into the layers panel, and this image should stay below the snowfall layer. I would rename the background layer to something easy to recognize. I'll call it background. However, the background image doesn't appear in the preview because the snowfall layer above it is non-transparent yet. We need to go back to the effect controls settings of the snowfall layer and uncheck the composite with original option. And there we go. The background layer appeared from the back of the snowfall particles layer. However, the particles color is too dark to be seen. Let's add some color for it. From the Effects and Presets panel, type the word Fill into the search box to find the Fill effect. Then drag this Fill effect onto the Snowfall layer to apply. I will change Fill color to white, because I want it looks like the snow color. Okay, let's run Preview. It now looks better, but I need the effect look like real snowfall. To get to that, I have to tweak the CC Snowfall's effect control settings. It took me a while for that, and here's what I have done. 
In the CC Snowfalls Control Effects settings, enter 500 for Flakes. Leave the size at 15. Enter 50 for Variation Percentage of Size. Enter 12,000 for Scene Depth. Enter 0 for Variation Percentage of Speed. Enter 50 for Variation Percentage of Wind. Enter 20 for Spread. Click on the arrow to see the Wiggle settings. I change Amount to 10. Enter 2 for Frequency. Enter 100 for Variation Percent of Frequency. Uncheck the Stochastic Wiggle. And lastly, enter 0 at Flake Flatness Percentage. Those settings above I made only for your reference. You can tweak the values to whatever is your favor until you see perfect. I just give you the idea, and you can even do better than this. Let's run preview to see how the new tweak look like. I'm okay with this result. And the next one is to make the magic happens by making the snowfall effect reacts to music. From the project panel, right mouse click on the music file and select new comp from selection. There's a new composition has been created as the same name as the original file. I will rename this composition to audio for easy recognize. Then I drag this audio composition into the particles react layers panel and it should stays at the bottom. Next, right click onto the audio layer, hover to keyframe assistant and select convert audio to keyframes. There's a new layer called audio amplitude is created. Select that layer and press U key. The keyframes channels show up under the audio amplitude layer. We only need the both channels keyframes, so I will delete the left channel and the right channel to avoid confusion. Make sure that the both channels keyframe keep opening. Now go to the snowfall layers effect control settings. Press and hold the alt key and then click on the stopwatch icon stays right before the speed setting. Then you could see the expression pick whip icon opens under the snowfall layer from the layers panel. Let click hold the expression pick whip icon and drag it to the both channels keyframes in order to build an expression for the speed value. There's an expression created and showed up from the timeline panel. I will make a little change by type in time 20 is at the end of the expression. And I'm going to do the same steps above to build an expression for the wind setting. Just hold alt key and click the stopwatch icon stays in front of it. Then I click hold the expression pick whip and drag to the both channels keyframes again. Then this time I type in time 5 at the end of the expression for the wind value. Now, let's press space key to preview it. Perfect. Everything is working as expected. Before ending this tutorial, there's an extra tip in case you want to change the background color of your video. Type the word, hue, into the effects and presets search box to look for, hue, saturation. Then drag and drop the, hue, saturation, onto the, background layer, to apply that effect. Changing the, master hue value, in the, effect controls settings panel, to adjust color for the background. And if you want to have the motion blur effect for your particles, don't forget to choose option motion blur for the snowfall layer. And that is all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.